Hey guys, Ron here. I'm back for another one. Let's uh, let's go back from work. Uh, we got all those parts in. It is time to get after this thing. And I think where I want to start is this interior because we're already we're already kind of started on it. You know what I mean? Um, we got a couple patches to do down here. Previous owner, I think he cut access to the rear springs. So we'll we'll patch those up. We have a, a couple patches to do on the floors there. We'll get into those. Uh, we're going to reupholster these seats and blah, blah, blah. Listen, if you've seen the unboxing video, you probably have a pretty good idea of what we're about to do. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll attack this interior first. And then we'll go after the subframe and the transmission and all this other good stuff we're going to do. So let me get you guys set up and I'll start ripping this all apart. Okay. All right. So yank the seats out and uh, clean everything up. Let, let me show you where, where we're at here. Uh, so in the back, we got these two spots here. You can see... If you look down there, you can see it's actually the bolts for the for the springs, for the rear springs, the front perches, if you will. Same as over there, same deal. Bring it over. So those those spots got to be, you know, I got to cut some patch panels and weld that back up, just so we're not bringing moisture or road debris into the into the car. Up front, well, these floors were a little worse than I had hoped, but. To be honest, they're not as bad as I feared. So I uh, take the good with the bad. I will need a patch panel here, but it'll just be small. I think I'll just try and make that myself. And on the passenger side, it's a little bigger, but same deal. Um, it looks like there's an inner layer and an outer layer. So we'll, we'll have to take care of that as well. This part here that we see, that's actually front subframe. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll patch this inner and then when we change out the front subframe, which we will be doing here, that will be coming up in the very near future actually. Um, when we do the, when we remove that subframe, then we'll go ahead and we'll patch the outer as well. So I think for now, what I'll do is I may as well I don't know, I'll see what I got for patch material here in the garage. If I have anything, I'll go ahead and chop it up and measure it up and see if we can't, uh, you know, booger weld this stuff back together. If not, I'll take a run over to Home Depot and get some, I guess. Um, I noticed this shifter is, it's only bolted in on one side. That side's not bolted in. But again, I, I feel like this stuff was all kind of temporary as he uh was trying to sort out the motor problems so i don't want to i don't want to be too hard on the guy um i don't even know if this was going to be a permanent solution or not like there's no holes drilled or anything so and then this wiring i gotta sort this out too um, i'm not too sure why this is grounded i don't know if he had a light on here or something maybe at one time anyway one thing at a time i would like to patch these up we may as well just get that out of the way right now um i'll see if i got some sheet metal kicking around here we'll take some rush me rough measurements and start seeing if we can't uh patch this up so hang tight okay so i got that kind of chopped out a little bit the outer skin's still there we'll like i say we'll take care of that once we remove that subframe that's under here but for now, I just want to patch this floor. So I found this material here. I'm just going to stick that in there and make it work. Bang it around, tack it up there, smack it around here. We'll make it work one way or another. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started on that. We'll get this gobbed up and then we'll move on to that side next. All right, give me five. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, okay, we got that patch in. Got uh, a little, you just need to see, put seam sealer on all these things. Got the back ones done. 
Um, you know, they're all sealed up. New patch material, cut the old stuff out, put the new stuff in, welded it, blah, blah, blah. Put some seam sealer on there and we'll call her good here. Um, nothing, no magic or anything. Not even nice, just booger welded in. Keep the, uh, keep the exhaust out, you know, keep the road, road stuff out. Keep the sand, salt, all that kind of stuff. I just think it's not going to see any salt. Um, but yeah. We got her sealed up. Now we can move on with the uh, rest of the interior. All right, let's get after it. Okay, so we got the floor welded up there. Um, I still need to figure out my hump for my fork. So I'm going to swap this over to a four speed. Um, but I did go ahead and put my sound deadener in. Uh, normally, I like to use that kill mat stuff. I'm not really... Can't afford the proper name brand. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. But I tried this stuff this time. And I'm not impressed with it. I got it off Amazon. There's the name of it. Uh, Nogivo, I guess. And I don't know. I just... I don't find it sticks as good. I don't find it conforms as good. Um... I definitely had to seal everything with some tape because all the edges want to curl up on it. So when you butt it up to each other, that's great, but because the glue doesn't go quite to the edge, it, every edge wants to curl up. So edge to edge, curl, curl, not great. Um, do I think it'll work on the sound ending part? Of course, I, th I think it'll be fine. Um, but if you're looking for something on the cheaper version, you know, I would... I'd recommend I'd recommend that kill mat you see all over Amazon works good um, so that's where I'm at right now I think my next step because I don't know where my hump is exactly gonna sit I think my next step might be to remove these all the all the door panels and uh, set up a table here and might dye those get that done up and then the dash and the I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, I think for right now, I think that's going to do it. I think we'll get back on this stuff when I get back next shift, I guess, because I fly back to work tomorrow. So it's only, I'm only going to get so far. All right.